So we're gonna make the physics of the seaweed. First up, default cube. Get out of here. File, import, images, planes. Find your image. Now, obviously we only want this section. So tab into edit mode, control R, and I'm going to line up as closely as possible both top and bottom, select the face we want, control I to invert our selection, delete faces. And then to make my life easier, let's select this bottom edge, shift S cursor to selected. Then we're gonna right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now we need to expand the bottom of the C floor. So shift A mesh plane, there we go. There's our bottom C floor bottom seabed. What? We're going to use geometry nodes. So let's increase this thingamabob. Let's now select geometry nodes. Make sure we've got our kelp selected or seaweed or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go new geometry nodes. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to create points on this plane. So the way to do that, shift A, search, distribute points on face, select that and we'll plop that one there. We need our mesh. So I can just come up here, click and drag our plane into there and then put our geometry into mesh. Now we need to spawn our seaweed onto all these objects. So now shift A, search instance points, plop that one in there. We're gonna change the geometry input to instance, the points to nyar and uh, yeah, you're the wrong way, mate. I know, let's select our kelp, control A and apply the rotation. There we go, much better sunshines. Now at the moment, everything is uniform. I kind of want to randomize the scale. So down on our instance to point, I'm going to click and drag off this and we're going to type in a randomized value. There we go. Now it's randomizing the X and Y and Z. It's not keeping the same value. So that's what we need to do. So where it's max, I'm going to change that. We're going to go randomize value again, but this time I'm going to set a float maximum to be 1.15, 1.15. Uh, get in there, sunshine. Let's go shift D duplicate and we will do the minimum random value. And this one's going to be probably 0 0.6, 0 0.6. And there we go. So now it kind of scales both in the X and the Y at the same time. Now I want to randomize the rotation so they're all facing semi the right way. What do you reckon we could do? Yeah, that's right. Randomize value. So now I only want to be able to randomize the Z axis. So minimum on the X, the Y, the Z, max zero, Y zero. And on the Z, nah, what else? I don't know. Ah, that looks fine. Now, one last thing on the jump you node, shift A, search, realize instance. I don't know, we just, we just need that there for some reason. It looks like rubbish, weird problem. Everything is gone, don't understand why, but if you go into shading and we click on our texture, control A, apply the texture coordinate, you get rid of the texture coordinate, even though we've got UV selected, delete, shift A, search, UV map, click on that, Put that in the vector instance UV map and it works. I don't know. So while we're here, tab into edit mode, I want to add in a whole bunch of extra geometry because we're going to be putting a cloth simulation. Control R, let's add in a few edge loops. Control R, add some of that. A, right click subdivide. Ah, that's good enough. Now I kind of want to increase the distribution size a little bit. I'm just going to go control A, apply the scale. That's a bit too much. Let's go down to maybe one on the density. Let's, uh, let's maybe just scale that in. Control A, apply scale. Yeah that'll do nicely from here we can apply our geometry nodes select it control a so now if we go tab into edit mode you can see that we've got all these objects let's now go ahead and add some of the physics in so we don't have to do it later individually tab into edit mode i am going to shift left click on this bottom edge from here into the object data i'm going to create a new vertex group i'm going to call this pin assign tab to object mode let's go into our physics tab collision yes cloth yes now we need to come down and we need to enable pin group will not apply the cloth simulation on that point vertices whatever you want to call from here we can jump into the modifiers select our geometry node control a now let's press play and it kind of like fizzles into the ground exactly what we wanted however it's going to be underwater so we kind of want it to float let's come into the world settings and we're going to change the gravity from minus 9.8 to i don't know 2.4, it's just the value. And then we can see that nothing's happening. Awesome, foursome. This is a rowing team in Australia, it's okay. From here, let's go into a UV sphere and we'll put this all to the test. Put in a collision on that UV sphere. And then when we press play and we slowly move the sphere, hopefully stuff moves. There we go, oh, thank goodness. I had a bit of a heart attack for a sec. 
Let's also add, I completely forgot, a force. And this force is going to be a turbulence. Let's put that about there and we'll press play. Nothing is happening, so let's increase that force. Here we go, strength. 10, 100, there we go. We can kind of see that it's ever so slightly moving. Maybe let's go 250, nice. Now for this shot, I want a submarine. I jumped on the Sketchfab, Control V, and just you know, got a giant submarine. I want to give it a collision. Oh, I've already done it, sweet. And so what I'm hoping is that uh, we've got a collision as it hits the um, kelp. It's a, it's a pretty small, Thing, isn't it? Mm. Now we can see that the animation stops around 250. Let's fix that. Over on the cloth simulation, back into physics tab, cache, there it is. And we're gonna go to frame 450. To make our life easier, I am gonna bake all dynamics. Should be fairly quick. And now we can scrub through the timeline and see the animation. Switching over to cycles, GPU. I'm just gonna use Felicia White's water. So control V, bring that into the scene. Sorry, computer. Now let's go ahead and open up Extreme PBR. Mm, shade of material, I want round, sandy. There we go. Mm, that one looks like under the ocean. Add new. Go into the camera mode. I'm just gonna go into the viewport. So let's just quickly add in a world. And now we've got this wonderful scene. And we're just gonna make the computer scream out in pain. Let's render it out.